Welcome, 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 Gemini's. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the Harry Season reading, and let's go in your reading. All right, Gemini's, congratulations. You have money. Money is going to be coming in. Some extra money is going to be coming in. You have the Ten of Pentacles upright. This is um, good. This um, Harry Season begins from March 21st until April 29. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to like, share, and support. Welcome all, um, welcome everyone, but welcome all newcomers. Please remember to subscribe, touch the notification button. This is the biz money and wealth reading. This is all about looking at the direction where your money is. Remember to choose your symbol. It is very important that you choose one of these symbols, okay? In order to choose these symbols, join, use a join button as you use a join button. Um, you join and you choose the second subscription. In the second subscription, it will be available um, for you guys to pick up the extra in order to choose one of the symbol. This is about choosing the symbol, the symbol that is going to be giving you more information in order to move forward in a really positive way. All right, so you come in with money. So this season, money is not going to be a problem. Extra money is going to be coming in, Gemini's. So this is good. So um, Gemini's, um, what we see is that there is the 10 of pentacles in the first week. The second week is as if you're focusing on work. It is all about you um, putting down your emotion, leaving your emotions behind. Because I see in the third wheel, you're going to be having some sort of a new start. The work floor is going to be picking up now. And whatever that was creating some sort of a problem, that is going to be good. Some of you have started a new job or is going to be starting a new job. As we look at the third week, I see you are starting out on a positive journey. Yes, yes, yes. You have a white rose in your hand and this is good because you are ready for this new start and um, changing this new career part is going to be good. As we look at the fourth week, we have a major arcana there and this major arcana is as if uh, this fourth week you started a new job for some of you, not all of you, but some of you are having to deal with some sort of an inner strength uh, in order. So there, the major, the major, major problem is going to be in the first week. You have two major energy, two first week of uh, um, the season um, is coming in. All right. So let's look at the first week. The first week is from the 21st until the 28th. You have the 10 of pentacles. This is in your um, streak. This is about wealth and uh, um, higher level of uh, materialistic wealth and stability. Okay. This is Mercury in Virgo and Mercury in Virgo is about uh, a whole lot of financial um, assistance coming in for you. Okay. So money is going to be coming in. However, this money is, it could be a payout of something, but money, money is not going to be a question in, um, this, uh, um, a Sagittarian season because, um, the fire signs are your opposite sign. And this is good. And especially in the first week, 21st of March until 28, you can see money is coming in. Okay. It's about wealth. Your wealth is going to be regaining its strength and it is a mercury um in uh, in virgo mercury in virgo because that is the reason why um people who, who work with virgos can um work in a very good environment with a virgos because uh, you are vibrating with the energy of mercury okay and mercury in virgo is really really wonderful because of what is transpiring is that uh, this is your opposite sign of uh, um, the sun in Gemini, okay? And you are Gemini's. And what is transpiring here with the Mercury in Virgo, this is really positive because it's giving you positive alignment of energy, moving you forward, shifting you to a new, um, a new frequency of money, okay? So you have to understand that money is energy and it's frequency, but also in business and materialistic stability, having Mercury in Virgo, that means that Communication wise, anything that you're doing with communication, sales and that sort of a thing in the week of the 21st until the 28th is going to be good. Any sales, anything to do with sales, whether um, you're selling products, your customer service, um, your salesperson, whatever it's, it's, it's your business. 
um, that week is going to be a powerful week where a whole lot of money is going to be coming in. Then we are looking at the second week. The second week is from the 29th um, of March until the 4th of April. We see the Ace of Cups. Now, the energy of the Ace of Cups uh, um, is all about emotional stability. But this emotional stability is in the reverse for you guys because of some sort of an unconventional situation that is taking place. But there, there could be some sort of an issue on the work floor because the Ace of Cups is always about love and happiness. And it's as if uh, um, you're getting a fight in the second week. Uh, some of you will be getting some sort of a fight uh, um, it's as if people are working against you, but that's okay because sometimes um, you have to understand the frequency of people and sometimes people are just uh, um, who they are. People are people, you know, sometimes their shift of energy and mood swing. So a lot of you it could be you having mood swing or other people around you having mood swings. You got to be aware of this. You got to be understanding of this because now you're going to be recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring and you're got to be aware of uh, the instability that was happening in your world and really understanding. So there is going to be some sort of an emotional mood swing. So we see the Ace of Cups in reverse as the emotional mood swing that is going to be happening around you, either by other people, you could be the one that is uh, in an emotional mood swing. But whatever it is and however it is coming up, you're going to be exhilarating out of this and you're going to be recognizing, hey, um, all right, this is, this is what it is for this week. I can't be happy all the time or people cannot be happy all the time, but you're going to be just taking it and running. So it's going to be a, an emotional week where there is some sort of an emotional mood swing, um, with you or around you where other people could be creating this in your world. So don't be surprised that this is happening because this is how, um, people, are okay people frequency goes up and down and it depends on their emotional balance or your emotional balance all right so thus expect this to happen in the week of the 29 the second week the week of the 29 um to the 4th of april as we look at the third week the third week is from the 5th until the 11th and the energy of the third week from the 5th until the 11th what is happening and what is transpiring you have to deal with uh, Uranus, okay, and this is going to be good for you. You are a, um, a, 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 a Gemini, and having the energy of the fool, it's about going out on a new start, okay. So it could be career changing, it could be having a new job, it could be getting a, a side job, but it's about Uranus, and this is about good. This, when you get Uranus, Uranus is the um, your sister size energy. And this is good because what it is doing, it is pushing you. So if you were sitting in some sort of an unconventional job, not feeling good about yourself and that sort of a thing, you're going to be getting up and going to be deciding, hey, I'm smart. I'm very smart. I'm one of the smartest people on the planet. So why not that I make some decision and look for another job or create some sort of a new start for my financial stability? Okay, so if you um, feel as if, you know, you're giving, giving all of your energy and all of your strength and not getting back anything. What is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be awakening yourself and recognize that, hey, I have a lot of hobbies. I have a lot of ideas. I can also um, create more financial stability in my world. And I see that a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of an idea, going on sort of some sort of a journey, standing and uh, accessing some sort of a journey in order to understand the position and where you need to be so this is going to be really wonderful and positive because people are now going to be recognizing what has been happening what has been transpiring and that you need to make some sort of a new ship um, in your life in order to create uh, um, financial abundance so it's a good week to go in and um, start something new whether change career start something new add um, something extra to your financial flow where you could be getting something, creating something for yourself. It's going to be good. So your first week and your third week is going to be good. You have Mercury in, in, um, Mercury in Virgo and then you have uh, um, Uranus moving out, making some changes in order to facilitate your financial stability and abundance and this is going to be good. 
so a wonderful alignment of energy there's no question about it you're on the right part what whatever decision and where whatever direction you're moving in you're definitely on the right part take this new direction move into this new direction because people are going to be alert and aware um that they are going to be creating and going to look for more ways and mean of uh, creating wealth in your world so take this direction move in this direction and move forward in a very positive note so uranus is going to be coming and, and helping you in um the third week and uranus is about giving you a new start giving you a good uh, boost and a good push into the right direction then we look at the fourth and last week, the, the week of the 12th of uh, April on, uh, until the 19th of April. We see you have the energy of strength. And whenever we have the energy of strength, we think of the Leos and the Sagittarian. OK, um, so that is uh, the, that is uh, the embracing. OK, the endurance, endurance. A lot of you could be having some sort of an issue up the work floor. Issues with a Sagittarian issue with a Leo, um, of the work floor. And this is what you need to be aware of that uh, sometimes you have these people that create uh, some sort of a problems and issue. They're actually your opposite sign, the Leos and the Sagittarian. And it's as if they could be, you could be taking on their energy of uh, the endurance. So, um, some of you could be affected by a Leo or a Sagittarian and you're trying to endure to this moment, to this thing. It's as if this V and this Sagittarian has been creating a whole lot of problems, whole lot of issues, that sort of a thing. And you're trying to um, make way through these emotional turmoil that these people could have made in your life. So, you know, this is coming up like in different, different ways. Okay. So it's a situation where you're trying to endure a situation. So you could be having some sort of a problem on the work floor with a Sagittarius and a Leo, and you're trying to endure, um, through this, um, situation in order to balance out yourself. And I see that that is what you're going to be having in the week of, uh, the 12 going into the 19. Sometimes we really do have these people that create a, a whole lot of instability in our world, but it is about you pushing through some sort of a, um, unconventional situation on the work floor, understanding that you gotta go through this in order to come out on the other side in a very, very positive way. So it could be that you have a lot of work to get off. People are not um, working with you. Um, the team building, the teamwork is not happening. And you're now recognizing, hey, I got to get this going. I got to get this moving because I need some sort of a balance in my world. And I got to endure to whatever the problem, whatever the issue, whatever the situation is, because there are things that needs to happen and I got to get things up and start to make things happen for myself. So this is really, really wonderful. Um, this, um, moon, if, um, the Sagittarian season for a lot of you, because what is transpiring is that the last week endurance is going to be where you are finding in a strength to move forward and take the rain and go for it. And that is going to be helping you to create because it could be a situation where you have to enjoy going through something. Maybe you are changing location. You have to work with a Sagittarian and a Leo. Normally a Sagittarian and a Leo for you guys, you can really con con connect with them. But maybe this is a situation where they could be coming in to create some sort of issues for you. And you have to endure to a bitter. It's as if you have to take a bitter pill in the sweet because of these people. All right. So you could be taking on the energy of endurance. So be aware of this and don't be, um, you know, don't get, don't leave and move off, um, like make a decision to move it is not a week from decision your week of decision is in the first and the third week all right i do love you guys i hope that this help this is going to be exhilarating and exhilarating very fast it's going to be a positive week where you're exhilarating in a very fast position you will run into some sort of an issue but the week of the 12 to the 29 but not so 
the 12 to the 19 but not to worry you'll be okay i want to say to you guys please remember to like share thumbs up leave a message i do love you guys i see all your messages namaste remember to use the link below in order to get to your symbol to choose which symbol you are going to be working with in the sagittarian period i gotta go namaste Thank <laughs> you.